Hey basketball players, today I am here in my living room and today I am going to give you a fantastic dumbbell workout that you can do literally anywhere and all you need is two dumbbells. So we're going to go through a full workout with two dumbbells. You can use two of the same weight like I am today because I was too lazy to get other weights upstairs or you can use variable weights for whatever feels right to you. You don't wanna to go too heavy, you also don't wanna to go too light. So number one, we're gonna be working from top to bottom. First, what we're gonna do is start with our shoulders. Our shoulders, what we're gonna do is have, I mean, I've got 25 pounds. I would suggest if you're younger to start with two or five pound. And if you're even my age and you're just starting, I would suggest going with 10 pound. I wouldn't suggest going past 20 at all. But again, I was lazy. So what we're gonna start with is lifting the weights up to shoulder height and back down. And we're gonna do that 10 times for three reps. And if you're just a beginner, this would be one, two, three, all the way to 10. We would rest for 30 seconds and then we would go for another set of 10 and then you would do that three times total. And then whatever you do to the side, so whatever you go this way, you also wanna go out towards your front. And again, you do not wanna go past your shoulders. Next, what we're gonna do is work on our upper back. And how we're gonna do this, you can do two dumbbells at once or just one at a time. I personally prefer one at a time. Remember, always start with your weak hand first. So what we're gonna do is have our weight to our side. We're gonna lift up, back as far as we can, and back down. Up and back down. We're gonna do this again for 10 to 12 reps for three sets. Okay, so for this next one, we're gonna be down on the ground and we're gonna be in almost a push-up position. There's gonna be three levels to this next workout. The beginner is when we're up on one knee, keeping our shoulders back. And what we're gonna do is lift up the weight, keeping our head straight forward down and back. We're gonna do the exact same and back, keeping our shoulders back, pushing our butt out. Now, that's level one. Level two is to get into a push-up position and then to lift up that weight and back down. Again, 25 pounds is too much for me for this workout. And then if I had a lighter weight, you can go down into a push-up, back up, and then lift up that weight. And that would be level three to this workout. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is work on our arms. Remember, we're working our way down to our toes. Now, you can do this next workout with two weights, one in each hand, or you can go with just one hand at a time. I personally prefer one at a time for one really big reason, and that is it engages the core. You always wanna try and work out as many muscles at the same time as possible. It gives you a great workout, and it's great for losing weight as well if you're a bit heavier like I am as well. So, we're gonna start with our left arm. Very simple, just arm curls. This is the simplest exercise that you can literally do. And of course, whatever you do on your left, you do on your right, and it is engaging your core. Make sure to really be tensing your core while you're doing this workout. Now this next workout is again, very simple, but it can be dangerous if you don't do it right. So what we're gonna have is one dumbbell, and you are gonna be using two hands on the same dumbbell. We're gonna be sitting down. You can do this on a weight bench, like I have downstairs, or you can do this in your living room. All you need is something tactile that doesn't move on the ground, so don't do this on hardwood, and have your back straight up against a couch or a chair that doesn't move. This is up against a wall. So, have the dumbbell, put it behind your head. Now for this one, you wanna keep those elbows in. You do not wanna have them out, or else there could be an injury. You also don't wanna raise the weight over your head because if you drop it again, there's issues. So keep those elbows in. You're gonna be raising it straight up and down, keeping the elbows in straight up and back down. You don't wanna go straight up and over your head because as soon as you do that, if by chance your fingers or your hands or your arms give out, and a 10, 20, 30 pound, 50 pound, however strong you are, weight hits your head, that's gonna hurt and it could leave damage. You don't want that. 
Now this next one is going to engage the core. Yes, you can actually have a dumbbell workout engage your core and this is how you can do it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on our side. Again, you wanna do the exact same thing on both sides. You're gonna get into a plank, sideways plank, and you're gonna lift the weight up. We're not gonna be using 25. This is when you're gonna need to have a lighter weight. Down, up, 90 degrees, back down. That works out your shoulder, your upper arm, but also that's working your core because you're doing a plank. Now we're gonna get into the legs, the lower body, and yes, you can actually get a really good workout done with a dumbbell. Number one, very simple, hold it to your stomach or your chest. Go down into a squat, keeping the shoulders back, looking straight forward and back up. That's adding however many extra pounds to your squat. Now in this final workout, what we're gonna have is the dumbbells to our side. We're gonna get down into a squat, stand up, lift the weights up, back down, squat, back up, and then lift those weights up and back down and squat. And that's a great workout for your upper body, but also a fantastic workout for your legs as well. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. This is Bugs and his favorite toy, the cat ball, and he talks to it. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time. Come on, say subscribe, Bugs. Say subscribe. Okay, bye guys.